chapter 3. In chapter 3, we're going to be discussing derivatives and the properties of derivatives. To start us off in section 3.1, we're going to talk about the definition of a derivative. So recall from the previous chapter that the definition of slope is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. When the limit exists, it's called the derivative of f at a, where a represents any point. So this can be represented by 1, 2, 5, negative 6, 1 half, or any x value. So now we're going to talk about the definition of the derivative. So the derivative is given as f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h, provided that the limit exists. So if the limit exists at a point, we can determine what's called the derivative by using the difference quotient. We read this part of the function as f prime of x. So this little apostrophe mark right here is represented by the word prime. One thing that's important to know is the vocabulary and the terminology that's going to be used. If we're asked to differentiate, it just means to determine the derivative. So if we were asked to differentiate a function, it means to take the derivative of that function. So in example one, we're going to differentiate f of x equals x cubed by using the definition of the derivative. So we have f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. And it's important to write down this definition because on FRQ you might get partial credit for that. So now we're going to use this with our function right here. And so we get this becomes x plus h cubed minus x cubed all divided by h. And to work this piece of it out, we're going to refer back to Pascal's triangle. And so if you don't know what that is, you might want to go look that up. But a simple version is you draw Pascal's triangle like this. And then 1 plus 1 makes 2. And you've always put 1s on the sides. So then 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1. And this represents x plus y to the 0, x plus y to the 1, x plus y squared, and x plus y cubed. So these are the coefficients when I expand this term. So this is going to become x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed minus x cubed all divided by h and then we're going to get to cancel our terms but don't forget to write the limit in the front so it's the limit as h approaches zero i always forget to do that so now we cancel our terms and we get this is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed, all divided by h. And now we're going to go ahead and factor out our h. So it's the limit as h approaches 0 of h, 3x squared, plus 3xh, plus h squared, all divided by h. And now our terms are going to reduce. And so we get that this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. Now we let h go to 0, so that's 0 and that's 0. And so we get this is 3x squared. So this means that the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So now what I want to do is show you the graph of x cubed and how it relates to the derivative function. And so we know that the derivative is 3x squared. So if I were to plug, for example, 2 into 3x squared, I would get 
3 times 2 squared is 12. And so you can use this to find the slope at any point. So if I were to plug in negative 3 into 3x squared, I get negative 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27. So notice that the slope is always positive because 3x squared is always positive. And so we have the relationship between the derivative and the function. And now on your own, I want you to try to differentiate and then evaluate this function. So the function f of x equals 1 over x. I want you to differentiate it, determine f prime of x, and then evaluate it for f prime of 2. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the derivative, and then you are going to plug in 2 to find the slope at a point. So go ahead and try that right now. So f prime of x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. And this is the limit as h approaches 0. So we get that this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x all divided by h. And now we're going to go ahead and just use our algebra to simplify this down. And so we get that f prime of x is equal to negative 1 over x squared. And so now after all of that, we're going to find f prime of 2. So all you have to do is plug that 2 into your derivative. And you get negative 1 over 2 squared, which is negative 1 fourth. So we get the derivative is negative 1 over x squared, and f prime of 2 is negative 1 fourth. 